Hello, my friends. In this video, I want to show you how to add a Google Cloud Firestore database to your iOS app in just a couple of minutes. Cloud Firestore is a NoSQL database that can be used to store and sync data. Firebase is an excellent tool for mobile developers. Even if you want to use a custom-built backend for your iOS app, you still can use Firebase for quick prototyping. To start a new project, you need to go to console.firebase.google.com. There you can try a demo project created for you by Google. I am going to use other option to add a new project. I will name it Colors. A unique project ID is automatically created for us. Select a country, set the currency used for reporting. It doesn't affect where your data will be stored. Let's select iOS from the list of available platforms. Type in the bundle ID. As far as I know, there is no way to change the ID later, so choose wisely. Register the app and download the property list with the configuration for your app. These two screens show you the installation instructions with the code you need to use to configure the app. Let's press finish and switch to the terminal where I already navigated to the location of my project. Next, I need to init CocoaPods and add the Firebase slash co pod to the pod file. Let's save the pod file and run pod install. We can see that Firebase brings heaps of dependencies. Now, because I started to use CocoaPods, I need to open the SC workspace file instead of the default project. The last step is to add the configuration file we've just downloaded. Let's create the database and add some data. Again, we have two choices, the real-time database and Cloud Firestore. I want to use the second one because it's the choice recommended by Google for new applications. If you want to know more about the difference, I've added the link to the documentation in the description. I use the test mode because I don't want to add any authorization code now, and I'm not planning to use the database after this video is released. Let's make a collection called colors. It will have an object with a single string field named hex, with a value represented white color in hexadecimal. I want to add the second item, this time with the red color value. To use this database in the app, I need to import Firebase. And call Firebase configure in the app delegate. Because I decided to use Firestore, I need to add a second pod to our pod file. Run in pod install again, some new dependencies, and we are ready to use the database. In this example, I am including the networking code in my app delegate. It's definitely not the best practice. If you want to learn how to use it properly in the network layer, I created a separate video about it. I have added a link to the video in the description. To make the Firestore database appear, all I need to do is to say its name twice. Firestore, Firestore. I'm providing the name of the collection I want to access and telling the Firebase that I want to get all documents in this collection. I'm adding a guard statement because documents value is optional. When I'm sure that the colors collection is received successfully, I can iterate through its content. Each document is a color object. We know that each object contains the hex value. Let's print it. I'm running the app, and we can see that both elements we added to the database were successfully printed. I'm not going to use this code in the app, so I just delete it completely. Now we are ready to use the Firebase database in our app. Again, if you want to learn more, you can check the video that shows how to use the Firebase in an app. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.